We're doing this again, guys. This is our third contest entry in 20 minutes. Stop getting subscribers, <laughs> damn it. You're going to kill me. <laughs> yeah, because he has like 31 days of videos to edit on top of that. <laughs> anyway. I'm not mad. I'm not <laughs> I'm a stop now. <laughs> okay, um, and this time we're back for the contest entry of it. Venom76. He has an awesome channel. If you haven't subscribed to Venom76, yeah, uh, go do it because he's awesome. I would imagine he's probably going to hit 200 within like, you know, before Minutes. the end of this contest. Um, and we want, we saw everyone else do it, so we wanted to make an entry video too. You have an awesome channel, do it, and definitely anybody out there watching who hasn't hit that subscribe button, go check Venom's channel out because it's awesome. Everybody, we've been done doing contests for awesome. So we, he has three questions, and we're going to answer these questions now. Hit me with them, baby. Okay. Hit me, baby, one more time. Recommend a ghost story to Venom. Okay, um, this really isn't it. I'm not the biggest go Wait, yes, I actually could recommend one now that I think I just watched it this year. You might have already seen it, but it's the only one that comes to my mind, and that's Incident in a Ghost Land. Cool. I fucking love Is that, though? They're not technically ghosts, but, you know, well. Yeah. Or, or Poltergeist 3. It's the best one. It's the worst one. I love Poltergeist 3. Everybody one. gives it shit, but it's a I actually like it better than the original. Don't hate me. Can I, you do? I said it. So yeah, I, I, I this isn't really my bag, so sorry. Uh, ghost movies usually aren't my thing. Uh, We're still here is probably my go-to one. I've mentioned it a couple times. It's a very. A tale of two sisters. Yeah, two sisters. Yes, and also another, another very good one. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So all those I'd probably recommend. We're still here. Tale of two sisters and those. <laughs> my bullshit. Yes. Um. Yes, and that bullshit. Okay. Next question. Say the three songs that pretty much tell the story of your life. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm going to make this fast. Uh, for, like, when I was a kid and a teenager, it's still a song I go by now. I say it's my signature song. And it is from the great uh, Tommy Two-Tone, and it is 8675309. Jenny. Get it? Because my name's Jennifer, and everyone calls me Jen, Jenny. Get it? Yeah, so Jen. Ah! Fuck you. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's also my email. Uh, now they know your email. They don't know all of it. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, I, that song was just my jam as a kid. And um, definitely for my 20s, it would be Shattered Dreams by uh, Johnny H. Jazz. Yeah. Yeah, there's a reason, but we won't get into that now. And my last song is definitely City in Colors, uh, Sleeping Sickness, because I suffer from depression and also an insomnia, especially lately. I've really been suffering from insomnia, so uh, Sleeping Sickness really speaks to me, and that's really a good time in my life right now. In the present, let's be here now. Hey! <laughs> Jen's a downer except for the first part of her life, and I was kind of a downer when I was a kid, according uh, to my mother. <laughs> what about you? Uh, I mean, the bar for my younger years, probably the Barney theme really sums it up pretty good. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't really have much, but just uh, songs that pretty much suit me now. Uh, probably like The End of the World by Steel Panther. Uh, Life's a Gas by, uh, by The Ramones. And Rock and Roll by Motorhead. Cool. There's those three. Oh. My last question. It's baby. not really a question. It's oh. more so of a command. Cool. Do 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 your best impression of hiding for the fjords from the dead parrot sketch from Monty Python's Flying Circus. And by that he means do your best John Cleese impression of hiding for the fjords. <laughs> anyway, um, you first. No! I can't! I suck! If you guys watched my Wolf Creek review, you saw how bad I do an Aussie uh, voice, so I'm, I'm out, dude. Um, I can, the best I can give you is SPOON! 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 That's not, that sucks too! You just sound like a parrot screaming SPAM! I, that's why I didn't want to do this. You, uh, that's why I'm you! Alright, and here I go. Back to Bubbles, because, you know, it helps. Pony for the fjords? Now what kind of chalk is that? Good. I, I, I will agree with you there, Bro though, Bronco. The best line in that episode, in that sketch, is that this is a, this is a no longer living parrot. It is a expired parrot. That is the best part of that sketch. But yeah, so that's that's what. He, for, there you go. 
Uh, I got good John Cleese, apparently. And I those love John. are all our questions. That's all questions. I love John Cleese. Okay, so that was our contrast entry for Last Venom 76. Again, go sub, guys. Make it make it to where he's got 200 by the time this uh, contest closes out. So yeah, he has an awesome channel. Go check out his content. Thank you for letting us play along, Mr. Venom. We appreciate it. And um, I think, is, is it, wasn't he on the horror hangout? I believe he was a yeah. while ago, yes. yeah. Uh, but, yeah, so there you you go very cool dude and thank you for letting us play and um as always thanks for watching guys hopefully don't anyone else gain more subscribers we're least really at least for the rest of october yes ma'am uh, anyone else regretting this i am uh, so we'll talk to you hopefully we won't see you till uh tomorrow which is day i don't whatever know. whatever we'll talk to you later guys bye spam 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 spam, spam.